Hello everybody and welcome to Deterra Italica, I think is how we're going to say that. And I had some back and forth on where this map actually was placed at. There's actually a Spanish town that used to be called Italica and it was founded by the Romans in like 206 BC or something like that by some general or something. Uh, so I actually had to go and look it up and it's actually in the north central part of of Italy so you know conflicting ideas same kind of uh, not really like the same area but the same temperature I'm gonna say most likely so yeah here we are this is our little sheep yard we've got a grass field right there and we're just gonna do a quick yard tour of what we've got just a standard mower set up our sheep we have uh, 135 sheep. This is our pig yard. Got uh, quite a few pigs. This is their trigger right here. Got 202 of those guys. Don't mind that texture blinking. Not sure why that's going on. Sorry tank. Some other things. Not a lot to see. Not a lot to do. We're going to be very, very busy today. We have seasons on and it is a different geo so this is what we're working with and today we've got to plant some corn in our big field which is field 51 now the corn is going to be to feed our pigs I've given them some max that way we have a little bit of play here without worrying too much and I definitely don't like watching animals die we've got our big water bowser for all of our animals a versatile combine which somebody said was a Retextured or just a stickered up Rostamosh. And I'm okay with that. I really like this one. I think it fits the map. But it fits what I wanted for the map anyway, and I really like it, so it's here. And we have one Raging Bull. A smaller Lambo with, I think it's like a 120 horse or something like that. This is our smallest tractor. We can double check here. Where are you? 153 horse. The big horse planner. The Unia. This is a mod as well. It's a, just an 18 meter sprayer. Nothing special. Basically, we're starting with a bunch of stuff, but nothing's really special. So, you know, we've got like our normal grass working stuff and everything. And we have a, another Lamborghini tractor. And the only reason I have two is one, I mean, we're kind of in Italy. And two, I never see anybody use them. So I thought I would give them a shot. And we've got two different plows. This is our small plow. And it's for this tractor. And it's mainly for doing these smaller fields, like 21, 22, you know. And as we move on, 745 and all of that stuff. Because we will be buying more and more land as time goes on. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy started up. And put them on a worker. And hopefully they get going. Now this is not the only field that we're doing today. Uh, we're going to tackle field 51 by our lonesome. So we have another tractor for that. We have three tractors just like normal. I uh, know I normally have three. We have... One small, one medium, and one very, very big one here. And some people may not like what I chose, but uh, it's one of those things I never see used. So that's what I'm going with. All the crops are wilted, by the way. So. We are using the big Grey Grey Benson. And a New Holland. This is the T9 with the tracks. I thought it would be good here. It will pull all of our implements. We do have medium-sized implements. Except for the plow, it's kind of big. Mainly for fields 51, 64, 53, and a couple others. And I'm sure that we will be joined together many fields. So yeah, this is our big setup. Go ahead and hop up in it. And we're going to get started over in field 51, very first thing today. Now, I know somebody's probably going, well, why did you get such a big plow if you have medium-sized equipment? Well, I wanted 
something powerful enough because there there's a lot of hills here and I wanted the plow big enough to where we don't have to worry about these bigger fields too awful much so this was the the best thing I could come up with again I mean I'm sure some people are probably absolutely gonna hate it we have crop destruction on hopefully that crushes them no of course it doesn't because they're already dead Uh, what's the best way going to be? Probably up here and get turned around. The only problem about huge equipment is the kind of space that you're using. Now, I've slowed down my mouse, um, hopefully to help with some of the jarriness. I am playing a lot of SPS or first person shooters like I, that's what I normally play so uh, twitch movement is normally a priority uh, unless we're playing like Counter-Strike and I have it kind of set low but on this I normally have it set up pretty high but I was watching one of my playbacks and it was a little bit twitchy so I've got it slowed down but I'm having to move my arm more so you're going to see like the camera move and then Stop moving and then move again. Let's go ahead and get this big guy unfolded. All right, let's go ahead and get it down in the dirt. Hopefully, this thing pulls good. Oh yeah. There it goes. So yeah, I wanted something that we could knock out these fields in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, we're playing with six days on our seasons, so yeah, that's just another reason I want to be productive. This is going to be our high productivity farm. We're not using, unless we have to, or we have an abundance, we won't be using any kind of natural fertilizer or anything. We'll be using all of the artificial stuff, uh, the faster application, and we can get uh, some reasonable profit out of it. You know, if we do end up with some slurry manure, yeah, we'll use it. For sure. Now, I am sorry, it is a little bit of a dreary day. Let's go up and speed up time. We'll do uh, times five. We've only got the one day to put this corn in the ground. Or we're going to miss out on some pig food. So I'd rather us play it kind of slow until we can get the corn in the ground. But I think this is the... This is the main setup for, let's get a lot of productivity done. The smaller tractors will be used in the smaller fields, of course. The smaller Lamborghini will be used around the yard. You know, just a normal run-of-the-mill setup. Nothing too extravagant. Because we still have to have some stuff to get towards, you know. Because I'm all about that, let's make some progress. And I'm not the best driver with a, I'm going to call it a bendy tractor. Or a lizard tractor. Uh, that's what we call them lizard trucks on the, uh, on the mines. The ones that bend in the middle. And I know I'm not supposed to turn with a plow like that. Don't yell at me. And we have an idiot worker already in the series. Uh, that's uh, kind of like the first day deal around here, isn't it? Look, he's missing all kinds. <laughs> what I do, I want this farm to be profitable. Uh, anytime that we go over 180 pigs, we'll sell anything over 180. For now, until I know that I can support a larger amount than that. Because I figure... Any more than that is going to start being hard on us for making their food. And this geo does not support sugar beet. So you have to keep that in mind. We can't make any sugar beet. So we're going to have to do some potato planting. Uh, and that's later in this year. We'll plant potatoes. And then there are a spring harvest, I am pretty sure. We'll check here after a little bit. So I'm hoping the sun will poke out sometime today because this is a really nice map. It's very, very pretty. I like being in it. It's it's a fun map to be on. 
the scenery is absolutely gorgeous. We'll take a drive around here after a bit once I know that we can get some corn in the ground. But this map is just... It's gorgeous. And apparently this map was made for Farming Simulator 15 and was ported over. Or they delayed it. I can't find the relevant information for that. But... Uh, I've seen like preview videos of it for 15. But nobody really playing on it in 15 unless I'm just an idiot and overlooking it. Which... Let's face it, I'm not the smartest fellow. So yeah, I know some of you like uh, the bigger equipment, so I thought this map will give us a varied result. I don't want to do everything big. So if we can do some small stuff, some medium stuff, and some large stuff all on one map, then, you know, that'll be pretty good for us, because we do have the Kleinsau map, which is our small organic farm, which... I absolutely enjoy doing. It's a different way for me to learn the game. Because you gotta remember, I'm not a farming simulator pro. I'm a new guy, just like a bunch of you guys are. So doing things, you know, is how I learn. I learn by doing. And I also wanted to do this geo because it's still snowing in South Dakota right now. It's snowing today. The roads are closed. <laughs> so. It's been an absolute nightmare. Why did that not cut in? Huh. Get back on track here. I'm making a mess of this. I thought I had the... I have the GPS mod, but for some reason I don't have it on right now. So, that is something I'll fix in the next episode. Today might be a two-parter. Just depends on how far we get with the plowing. So I'm actually going to shut up and get to work. So I will talk to you guys here in just a minute. good timing. I, I, I couldn't have planned that. So our helper is done with the little field right there, and we're going to go help him out. Oop. Put it in the dirt. We're going to do a quick swipe on that headland he decided he didn't want to do. We're going to knock that thing out really quick. But this is field... 51. I, I, ew, it's going to take me a while to remember all the fields. I know how to get to the shop and everything. I know how to get most of the places, but the field numbers. Uh, a little sketch. How can I do this in one swipe? Well, I guess we're going to find out, huh? Uh, no, we can't. 
Dang it. And I do know that this is a flippable plow and all that fun stuff, so I'm just kind of in my way of doing things. And we're not going, like, directly up and down the field. Oh, buddy. Let's uh, get your butt back over here. Now, I'm not going to be doing all the plowing uh, by myself. You know, I'm going to divide it up into workers and everything like that, so you don't have to worry about that. But we're not going to go ham on the fields like we normally do, because... I don't really want to run out of work because that was my problem on Upton. I kept running out of work and stuff to do. So for right now, we're going to go ahead and park this guy back up. And it's nine o'clock in the morning, so we've got ample amounts of time. Like a boss right there. See, I'm telling you, it's the bigger equipment. I can drive the bigger stuff. It's that little shit that I keep messing up on. So this is just a base game run-of-the-mill Lamborghini tractor. I think it's a 270 RVT. BRT. We'll go ahead and get them here dropped off. Wow can be left out in the open, so I'm not too... Worried about keeping everything under cover on this map. Go. So, what is our next job? First, let's see what our pronto is. I can't remember how exactly it works. Yes, it plants directly. This does not. So... We need to have, hmm, what do I want in that field? Let's, uh, wow, that's already that full? That's, uh, a little crazy. And I said 180, I was thinking a sheep for some reason that we would sell. Uh, whenever they hit uh, 220, we'll sell the pigs. I'm sorry about that. Uh, let's go ahead and do a, hmm. We need to get the corn in the ground. Let me shut this down and hop back into this fella. Now, the reason that this has a green front loader, we'll change its color later whenever we have a little bit of spare cash, is I originally had a John Deere on here. And I just was not happy with the John Deere. It just, I don't know, it just didn't seem like it fit right. So I think two white Lamborghinis fits a lot better. And again, you know, it can change. If we get bored of a tractor, then we can always change them around. I'm sure that they're not anything, you know, real special or anything. But you know, when I got this game, uh, me and my brother, we saw that you could get a Lamborghini and we were all about it. I mean that was that was our in gum in gum in game was yeah we're getting a Lamborghini for sure. I'm pretty sure that this tractor can power this. 224 270 it's on a flat plane. Okay. While that's filling, let's go back and get our very very big fun guy and we're going to get him cultivating in field 51. Now this is a power hero, I think. Is it the power hero? I can't remember which one this is. No, it's not the Power Hero one. This is just another part of the Big Bud Pack. But it's a big enough cultivator, and the way I'm figuring my sizing on this and what I'm using is I figured that this ground's actually pretty hard because of the amount of rocks around it. And like back home you know whenever you had runoff or something like that rock uh, like around the rocky areas the ground would be softer right beside the rock and then get immediately hard because it was more like a clay based so I'm going off of that assumption but we're gonna go ahead and get it unfolded I'm basically gonna let this worker go to town see what they do it may not do good with the bendy tractor. I mean, it could get very, very confused very, very quickly. 
But I think that this will do pretty good. It's just, it subsoils. So it's going to pull it up and then the discs on the back will break it up. And the Pronto should be a dire drill. And we were going to plant... Hmm, what exactly do we want to plant? Take a gander. I probably already said it like five times. Let's go ahead and get some soybeans in the ground for a little bit of income. I'm really hoping this tractor can power this. I think it can. There's a little, a little light in the front. If it can't, then it can't. You know, what do you do? Go ahead and get it unfolded. Okay, so we're gonna do soybeans. Get it in the dirt. slow to get moving. We won't be able to use this on some of the hillier ones. So we will have to end up getting a smaller... Uh, what am I trying to say here? A smaller sower. But for right here, that's you know, working pretty good. And yes, I, I know. I realize when things are underpowered for something, but for right here, this is fine for right now. We will get a smaller sower for the more difficult fields. And we'll just pull this one behind the, the big guy. That is pretty impressive, though. That little tractor. I have started using front weights more as well. Another thing is not doing half bad, really. I mean, to be fair, it is on a worker. And we didn't cut it any headlands. So, you know, bravo to you, worker. Because let's face it, normally when I do a series, the workers are, they're kind of dumb. I gotta say, we are working this thing. I mean, it's, it's chugging. But it's 56 horsepower down, something like that. So, can't even be mad at it. Now, I'm hoping I'm planting this and it's all going to be hunky-dory because, I mean, it's not time to plant yet, but it's like a day away. I think it'll be fine. I mean, it's not like it's freezing. The ground temp's 68 degrees. But I guess we will learn. Uh, I had somebody ask me in the comments, uh, do you ever read the manual for seasons? I, I skimmed it. I, I really did. I kind of skimmed over it. I remember when we were looking at the Wobster on Altenstein, I really went and read that part because I didn't know anything about it. But uh, yeah, I just kind of guess at it. Which is okay. You know, if I was trying to be like super duper serious and everything like that, I would definitely go back and sit down and read it all the pages. I was going to say front to back, but it's not a book, it's a PDF. But... I think for right now, you know, I'm, I'm really hoping in FS19 they bump up the difficulty. Okay, I'm not a farmer. Everybody knows I'm not. I'm just here to play video games and kind of be enjoyable for people to watch. But I asked a question on the forums about, you know, can we get some of the mods that FS15 had that I've heard about and never really got to use? Like the irrigation mod and having to look at the phosphate and nitrate levels in your fields and everything and, and adjust for that, I would seriously sit down and read a book on that. Like, no lie. You could have me do that, and I would enjoy it. Because it's something I don't know about, and I think it would be, you know, kind of neat to learn. Because I'm up here in farmland, and I couldn't tell you the first thing about it. Okay, we're going to park up our horse. And we'll go get the Vadastad. And try to get it going in the field right there. Or we could plant another root crop. We do sunflowers. Um, let's see here. What's cultivated? Harvested. Withered. Damn. 
Nothing's ready to go. 25 is cultivated. We don't own it, though. Uh, where do I want to park this? I kind of don't want to do it back in that hole again. I think we're just going to pull it over here for right now. If it really bugs y'all, I'll start to put it, you know, all back. But the barns around here are a little bit tiny. Especially for some of this bigger stuff. So for right now, we'll do it like that. Now, what I may do in the next episode is buy a smaller cultivator. That way, it's something that we have for this tractor or the other one. Just, you know, like a three meter or something. That way, we can get it started working on some of the fields. All right. So, we're pretty well set up. I've been recording for about an hour and a half now. So, I'm going to drop this guy right here. And let's take a... Just to drive around. Okay, so this is our main farming area. You can see it down here on the bottom of the map. We own 51, 64, 21, 24, 41, 42, 23, and 22. And we will grow out from here. So, you know, next will be like 37, 32, or something like that. Heading north. So we can dip under this bridge here. There is a railroad track, but there is no train that the user can use so that's kind of a bummer be really neat to do grain like that but I don't make them rules there is a really cool lake but we won't go there right now it's a pain to get down into uh, we'll go visit it in one of the episodes so if we continue on this road We'll come up to very long field 17 and the one of the cell points, even though there's like a, a billion icons, it's for like different things. So it's like uh, an offloader for a train, you buy animals there and a bunch of other stuff. I do get a little bit of frame rate issue right around here. There is a lumber mill up there on the hill. And another selling point and animal area right here to the left. So we're up here at the north end of the map, which I think is absolutely beautiful. I mean, this map is gorgeous. Like, props to made whoever made this. I don't have the mod author in front of me, but seriously, do yourself a favor. Download this map and play it. It's gorgeous and it's one of the main reasons I wanted to play it I like England and everything don't get me wrong but I mean just like the buildings and everything here are just sweet we have another farmyard on this side too so we can have plenty more equipment we'll swing in here we don't own any of this no I mean, just like the, the architecture and everything around here is just so nice. Like, this is a nice place to be. It's bright, it's sunny. That road's really bumpy. We're in a Lamborghini. What more can you ask for? Okay, we're coming up on the store. It's right across this field here. If I don't flip us. But yeah, there's just... You know, all like these little nooks and crannies. There's stuff here. You know, it feels old. It feels like it exists. And you get up here and you're on top of the freaking world. I'm so glad that this map won the, the vote. I mean, Oakfield Farm would have been amazing to play. But. Just look at this. <laughs> I mean, that down there is a field. That is uh, field two. I'm decently sure you can get to that. Let's go take a gander. I'm pretty sure that is field two. And you come into this nice little town, and it's just, you know, 
It's stepped. It's just not. It's just. It's just nice. I can't say enough. You actually got to use your brakes. So if I go down around this way. And not fall off the cliff. There should be a dirt road. Yes, there is. I mean, would this not be a cool field to farm on? I mean, come on, guys. This is awesome. See what I mean? How the tractor's having to work? Yeah, you know, we'll do like smaller equipment down in here whenever the time comes. I told you you could come down in here. You know, it wasn't just scenery. It's a place you can go in this map. As I can't see where I'm going. There we go. Guys, seriously. For whoever voted for this map on the forums, thank you so much. It's awesome. I love it. I've been grinning ear to ear. Uh, I like that you can have a combination of things. It just... It makes me tickle pink. And our worker... Until probably right now. Or he's... Quit his job. Yeah, it looks like he's done. He done a bang up job. So, hats off to whoever that guy was. Well, everybody, that's where we're going to leave it on our first day. We've got one field planted and one field about halfway cultivated. And we'll pick it up there again. And again, we're not on a set schedule anymore. So, I figure it'll be very, very soon when you see the next video for this. Because it's a really good map. Seriously, uh, the link is down in the description below. Go check it out. It's... It's awesome. So, we're going to end it there. Everybody, have a wonderful day. And we'll see you in the next one.